Context can be a major frustration for a lot of new, as well as experienced users of Olama. At a simple level, context is about the memory that your model has about your previous interactions. You might read about a new model and see that it has some enormous context size, but then get super disappointed when it doesn't turn out to be real. That's because context defaults to a size that's a lot smaller than what you might expect. Let's take a look at what context size is with regards to AI models, how to find out what the limits are, how to adjust Olama to take advantage of those limits, and why you might not always want to. I'm Matt Williams, and I've been using Olama since the hour the Olama team first created it, because I was part of that team. I now make videos about Olama and other AI tools, including this course that will get you up to speed on everything you need to know about Olama to use it effectively in everything you do. This section of the course is about context. Context is mostly the memory your model has about your previous interactions, but it's also the room your model has to answer your next question. So let's say that you have a context size of 2K or 2048. What is the unit we're talking about here? This isn't characters or, or words, but rather tokens. So a token is a word or part of a word. For simple words like this, or is, or a, it's going to be the full word. But for rhinoceros, there are probably four tokens involved. Here's a cool token visualizer that suggests the tokens for a llama-based model will be R, then H-I-N, then O-C, then EROS. So that is four of the 2048 tokens in our context. These are basically the components of the words that appear most often in written language. I have seen some rough estimates that say that 2048 tokens is roughly two thirds of that in words or about 1,350 words. That context determines everything the model will remember in addition to everything the model can generate. And that's due to both the way the model was trained as well as the memory limitations on the machine running the model. And I mentioned that it is a combination of the memory as well as the generated content. But for some models, the generated content is further restricted to only a certain maximum output size. Generally, you can think of it as the combination of the two. So how do we find out what the context limitations of a model are? Well, there's a few different answers here. First, all models in Olama have a default context size of 2048 tokens, unless it's been overridden. Some of the embedding models, which have a context size of 8K, have already been published to olama.com with that context size. Let's take a look at Llama 3.2 and figure out the context size supported by the model. In the table, click on the model info to see all the details. The first bit of metadata listed is the architecture. We can see that it's Llama. The context size is architecture.context size. So since the architecture here is Llama, we look for Llama.context size. And here we see 131072. Divide that by 1024, and we see that Llama 3.2, at least for the 1 billion and 3 billion sizes, has a max context size of 128K. But if we run the model now, we won't get that. Go back to the main page and click on parameters. Now, I wish this was more obvious, but if we saw a parameter of num underscore CTX, then we could see that the 2K size has been overridden, but we can't, so it hasn't. So the context size in effect for Llama 3.2 is actually 2048 tokens. That might be surprising to you. You know what else might be surprising to you? That I don't have more subscribers, but you can help solve that one by liking this video and subscribing to the channel. It really helps a lot, and I so appreciate everyone who does. So how do we change the context size of models? Well, if you run Olama run Llama 3.2, then in the REPL, you can type slash set num underscore CTX 131072, and then the context will be set to 128K. Or if you use the API, then you can add this option to either the chat or generate endpoints. Or <laughs> you can create a new model file for Llama 3.2, we have to create a model file that has a from line pointing to Llama 3.2, and then parameter num underscore CTX 131072. 
There are also lots of other front ends for Olama, and some of them allow you to also set the uh, contact size, but they'll do it in different ways. But just because a model you want to use can support 128K, I would suggest that you don't bump it up immediately. Adding more context takes more memory on your system. Calculating that memory has been problematic. There are many calculators online and in various GitHub repos and gists like this one that I found recently, but I've never seen any of them that are accurate. <laughs> they either wildly overestimate the requirements or like this gist, wildly underestimate the requirements. So I would suggest you try bumping up the context to 8K, then maybe 16K, and then 32K. And if you really need more and have the memory, keep going higher. When you configure the model to use more context than you can support, weird things can happen. With some runners, I've seen my computer just reboot spontaneously, and I've never seen that happen with anything else. And if your model only supports 8K, don't increase it to something crazy because then you may get really weird results. And just because a model can support a large contact size doesn't mean you necessarily even want to use it. Most models that take enormous contact sizes like, like Claude and Gemini and OpenAI's models tend to have problems when you use it all. If you feed the model a question along with this massive document, first there's the problem of upload and the ingest time. But then models often remember the beginning and the end and forget a lot of the stuff in the middle. When Gemini and Claude introduced these massive context sizes, folks thought that RAG would no longer be necessary. But the time required to ingest was so long and the model couldn't see everything. So even with theoretically large contexts, RAG is still super important. Some of these providers offer what they call caching, but really it's just moving RAG closer to the model. What RAG offers is the ability to send just the relevant bits of info to the model rather than everything, allowing the model to do what it does best and to do it a whole lot faster. And you can also do a lot to help with the part of the context on the back end when where it's remembering past conversations. Perhaps as messages go back in time further, you summarize them, keeping the full message in maybe a database somewhere for later retrieval as needed. There's a lot that can be done on both sides to help keep the amount of context needed low to provide room for everything else and have a great experience with the model. Because again, just because a model says it supports a large context doesn't mean that everything is really accessible. And that's most of what you really need to know about context and how it works with LLMs and Olama. What's the largest context you have used on your local machine? Share your experiences down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.